Disneyland and California Adventure. So let's go in. Across the way, are the icy peaks of Matterport Mountain, home of the world's most famous bobsled run. Okay, here we are at the Galactic Grill, formerly known as the Tomorrowland Terrace. Uh, of course, they changed it over to Galactic Grill for the um, Star Wars promotion media this summer. The Star Wars promotion is officially over, however, the Galactic Grill remains. So, we'll see how long that sticks around. But um, anyway, we're going to grab some breakfast. Should be a beautiful day today, not too hot at all. Nice cool morning. And it looks like it might get a little crowded today. There's a lot of crowds here. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So let's uh, grab some breakfast and enjoy our day here at the Disneyland Resort. Uh, let's hit the road track. Let's check it out. Luke? A Jedi Knight? Delusions of grandeur. Alright, so we got ourselves a breakfast burrito. It has scrambled eggs, chorizo, sausage, pico de gallo, some fruit in there, and an orange juice, which is an awful small orange juice, but it is what it is. So we're going to have some breakfast and check out what's going on here at the Disneyland Resort. Uh, let's, hit the let's hit the road, Jack. Nice breakfast there at the Galactic Grill and a nice relaxing ride down Main Street on the Omnibus. And as you can see, there was a lot of people here today, so a little bit crowded, but uh, we'll see what happens today. We're going to head on over here to California Adventure and see what's new. So uh, let's jump in the park and see what's happening. Okay, I'm standing in here in front of the Sunset Showcase Theater. And the uh, last time I was here, they were showing a sneak peek of uh, Peach Dragon, which uh, already was in the theaters. Uh, I didn't make my way out to see that movie, but uh, maybe one of these days. But as you can see, the building's now sitting empty. This was the former location of Muppet Vision 3D, and um, they, they took out that attraction to put in movie previews. And that, in my opinion, uh, big thumbs down on that move. Um, even when there's a, a movie preview in there, it's not attracting any crowds whatsoever. Um, rumor is this area is, it will be a future uh, home of the uh, Marvel land. They're going to turn it into a Marvel comic book themed uh, land. Uh, so perhaps they've got bigger plans uh, for this area back here. But for now, this building sitting empty. Disappointing. Uh, but we'll see what the future holds. It might be exciting. So let's go take a look around, see what else is happening here at California Adventure. Okay, we stopped at Award Wieners and we got ourselves a barbecue hot link. Topped with grilled onions, barbecue sauce, looks really good. Some chips and a Coke. So we're having a good time so far today. We're going to have some lunch and then we'll see what else is new going on here at California Adventure. Okay, we're back here at the Hollywood Tower Hotel, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And it is still open, however, uh, it will be closing uh, in January to remake it into the Guardians of the Galaxy. And as you can see here, they've already done some work, they've removed the dome, they've removed the sign. And there's a lot of scaffolding there on the side of the building, so they're starting to convert it already. The ride is still operational until January. So I'm going to go ahead and go on it and see uh, if they've made any changes on the inside because they're promoting it as a 
final chance to check in and something about riding it in the dark. Uh, so I want to see what that's about. Um, so uh, let me ride the Tower of Terror and we'll see how it is. Okay, just got off the uh, Tower of Terror, and um, some of the differences I noticed was in the lobby area. They had the uh, Silver Lake Sisters, uh, so they weren't performing when I was in there, uh, but they do perform, I guess, occasionally there. Oh, check this out. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> cool. But anyway, uh, the Silver Lake Sisters uh, perform in there in the lobby, and uh, that's kind of cool. It's, um, but I did read something about riding it in complete darkness, and from what I could tell, there was no differences at all in the in the ride or the special effects. It was it was normal like always, but classic attraction. I love it. I'm gonna miss it. Uh, just a fantastic attraction, and I really hope they're gonna do a great job with the new Guardians of the Galaxy attraction because. Because this this one's hard to beat. I mean, it's a it's a it's a great ride. So uh, anyway, let's uh, let's uh, move on and see what else is going on here at California Adventure. Ready, set, let's dance and try. Dance and
Okay, here we've got the beef skewers at the Paradise Grill here. And it comes with a cucumber salad and rice and a tortilla. And I got the chili sauce with it and a Coke. So we're gonna have some dinner and then uh, we'll see how much time we have left and see you a little bit more at California Adventure. Alright, as we're walking towards the entrance, this is the Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure and this used to be a movie starring Whoopi Goldberg about the history of California called Golden Dreams. And um, I've never been on this ride until this year, so it's new to me. It's been here for several years, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, go do a ride through on this one. The Little Mermaid. Let's all go with you. 
repentance in the light and made a switch to yes. Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. There's one no need to be thin and that one wants to get the girl and do I Okay, so unfortunately, the Fast Pass has been sold out for the World of Color show. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day as we make our way towards the exit. A few thoughts on the park here. Uh, another amazing day. Every time I come here, I have a lot of fun. Just as much fun as I do at Disneyland. So, you know, when the park first opened, it was not met well. Uh, it was built on the cheap. Um, I enjoyed it as an adult because it wasn't, everything wasn't Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and cartoons and kids. You know, they had a lot of, uh, the, like the parade had nothing to do with any Disney characters at all. And um, a lot of the attractions were the same and I, and I enjoyed that. Uh, but it wasn't well received, you know. Families expect Mickey Mouse when they come to Disney Park, so they had to make changes. Look at this car. And, um, but I've really enjoyed the changes. The Tower of Terror was one of the first things that was added on. And uh, great, a great attraction. I hate to see it go next year. Um, but uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what replaces it. It should be interesting. Also, the addition of Cars Land is just amazing, spectacular. And the World of Color is spectacular. So um, I, like the, I like the improvements. And it's pretty well received now with the public. And it's a fantastic park, so I, I really enjoy it. I enjoy it just as much as Disneyland. And um, so we'll be back very shortly. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's hit the road, Jack. Again, I really appreciate everyone that tunes in and watches. Uh, means means a lot to me. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Push the like button. And stay tuned for new videos coming up very soon, okay? 
All right, that'll do it for this episode. Have a great night. And as we look at the Carthay Circle restaurant and the beautiful fountain, it's the centerpiece of the park here at the entrance. I will bid everyone a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Let's Hit the Road Jack. Da -da 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 -da. Boo do bop boo be do bop a do be do boo hit the road jack. Boo do bop boo.